what an insane week this has been in the world of AI. Yesterday we saw Llama leak, today Mistral came out and dropped this banger. Mistral's new model, Large 2, which they call just large enough. Here is what they have to say. Today we're announcing Mistral Large 2, the new generation of our flagship model. Compared to our predecessor models, Mistral 2 is significantly more capable in code generation, mathematics, and reasoning. The three fundamental things that we all look for. It also provides a much stronger multilingual support and advanced functionalities for function calling. This is what I've been waiting for. For those of you who know my work, I am obsessed with agentic frameworks and this is exactly what's missing. So Mistral's large two has a 128K context window and dozens of languages support it. That is significantly larger than their last model and at par with some of the best models in the world and supports dozens of languages, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Arabic, Hindi, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, along with 80 plus coding languages. That's just insane. One of the coolest things about Mistral Large 2 is that it is designed for single node inference with long contest applications in mind. It's 123 billion parameter model, which allows it to run large throughput on a single node. One of the things that they have slightly tweaked is the license. What they're saying here is they're uh, releasing Mistral Large 2 under the Mistral Research License, which means that we're free to modify it, but for non-commercial purposes only. And if we want to use it in a commercial application, we have to go for another license. The first thing that this French company talks about is that it's a frontier model when it comes to performance over cost, in particular on MMLU. The pre-tained version achieves an accuracy of 84% and is the new frontier in open models. The next thing that they talk about is their key selling point, code and reasoning. And they explain that they took their learning and experience from Codestral 22 billion and Codestral Mamba and trained Mistral uh, Large 2 on a very large portion of code. Mistral Large 2, ML2, vastly outperforms the previous Mistral Large and performs on par with leading models such as GPT-4, Claude 3 Opus and Llama 3405 billion. Now that is something incredible. I'm a little bit disappointed with the graphs that they've put out here but this still gives you an accurate picture. Even with 123 billion parameters, code generation performance is at par with the frontier state-of-the-art model right now, Llama 3.1, 405 billion. And math performance is just through the roof. The next key area that they highlight is hallucinations. And here's what they write. One of the key focus areas during training was to minimize the model's tendency to hallucinate or generate plausible sounding but factually incorrect or irrelevant information. This has been a problem since the very start. Hallucinations with GPT-2, GPT-3, 3.5 were significantly higher than 4, but previous Mistral models, including Mixtral, had a significant advantage over everyone else when it comes to hallucination, and I'm really excited to see what they have come up with now. One of the more most important benchmarks is the human eval. And Mistral, if you look at it here, beats out everyone else except for GPT. And it's neck and neck, significantly outpacing Llama 3.1 405B, which dropped today. There are some benchmarks where it didn't stand out from key competitors, but it's open source. We can fine tune it, we can play with it, we can modify it, and we can surely get the performance up. This is why I've been such a big fan of Mistral and their previous models. And this one is no different. And look at these code generation benchmarks. Mistral Large, on average, 74.4%. It's an open source model, open weights model that is almost at par with GPT-4.0 and beats out everyone else that they've listed their previous model llama 3.1405 billion that is measured by them versus the paper that was released and the 70 billion model c plus plus very high bash java they are the frontier i would have loved to see typescript a little bit higher but this is still at par with frontier models they go on to show the performance accuracy on gsm 8 short and math instruct on zero shot and no chain of thought uh, metrics and beats out everyone else except for GPT-40 on math instruct. One of the key challenges that we face in reliable agentic models is making the agents follow the instructions consistently. And here is something that they share, which is really interesting for me. 
instructions following and alignment. We've, we drastically improved the instruction following and conversational capabilities of Mistral Large 2. The new Mistral is particularly better at following precise instructions and handling long multi-turn conversations. Below, we report the performance on empty bench, wild bench, and arena hard bench. And just look at this. Look at the results. Mistral is neck and neck with 4.0. And in Arena, GPT and Claude Sonnet are the frontier, but this is as close as it gets. It blows 4.05B out of the water. Not all of the world just focuses on English and being multilingual and having a multilingual MMLU benchmark score is really important for a frontier model. What they go on and say here is that the new Mistral Large 2 was trained on a large portion of multilingual data. In particular, it excels in English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Dutch, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, and Hindi. Below are the performance results for ML2 on the multilingual MMLU benchmark compared to the previous ML Llama 3.1 models and Cohere's Command R+. Just look at this. This is where Llama 3.170 billion is. This is the latest Llama 3.1405 billion, which shook the world yesterday. And a model that's one third the size is at par with the frontier model in this space. Next up is tool use and function calling. And for anyone who's building applications or agentic frameworks, this is where it really gets tough. But Mistral 2 is equipped with enhanced functional calling and retrieval skills and has undergone training to proficiently execute both parallel and sequential function calls, enabling it to serve as the power engine of complex business applications. Looking at the benchmark here of accuracy, Mistral Large 2 is the Frontier model outperforms 4.0, Opus, Sonnet, and the previous Mistral Large by a mile. You can clearly tell that this has been cooking in the background and they've been waiting for a launch like what Meta did yesterday to release their model. This is what shows that behind the scenes, this has been cooking for a while and they've been waiting for the right moment to launch their model and really make an impact. They're already available on La Platform. The weights are downloadable here and it's also hosted on Hugging Face. Apart from that, uh, Microsoft made an announcement for both the ML2 and Mistral Nemo on Azure. AWS made an announcement for ML2 available on Amazon Bedrock. But the most interesting of all, for everyone who's building on Google infrastructure, here's where it gets really interesting. Mistral AI code still launches as a service, first on Vertex AI. Here is what they say. Today we're announcing that Google Cloud is the first hyperscaler to introduce Codestral, Mistral AI's first open weight generative AI model explicitly designed for code generation tasks. As a fully managed service, Codestral helps developers write and interact with code through a shared instruction and completion API endpoint. Additionally, we're thrilled to announce that the addition of Mistral AI's large language models to Vertex AI's model garden, generally available today via a model as a service endpoint. And this is where ML2 and MN are available both the 123 billion model as well as the 12 billion model. Then they go on and give a brief explanation of how we can try and adapt Mistral AI models using Google Cloud. For everyone who's interested, it's very straightforward. Go try it out. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. For me personally, the most one of the most important things is the ability to create agentic frameworks quickly and deploy them to production rapidly. And this gives you a good heads up create and orchestrate agents powered by Mistral AI models using Vertex AI's comprehensive set of tools, including Langchain on Vertex AI, integrate Mistral AI's model into a production-ready AI experience with Jenkins Vertex AI plugin. Here's the chat interface provided on Mistral's website. I've been playing around with it. I've done some code generation. I've done some math tasks. I've done some benchmarks that are publicly available and some of my own. I will do a side-by-side -side comparison video with some of the frontier models and post it. Stay tuned. If you have any comments, queries, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment below. If you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next one.